is Staff Sergeant Nick Hodges. I'm a violist with the United States Army Band. Today we're going to talk about how to use your bow. So this video assumes you already know how to hold your bow. We're going to talk about how to use our bow. We're going to talk about three important things in order to use your bow. One, where do I place my bow on the string? Two, how do I change strings and how do I keep my bow straight? And three, how do I move my arm to make a sound? So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about where you land your bow. I talk about it, as many teachers do, as you land your bow on the bow highway. The bow highway is located between the fingerboard and the bridge, right here in the middle. You wanna stay in this lane right in the middle. That's the bow highway. You don't want to fall off the bridge and land in the water. You also don't want to careen into the forest of the fingerboard, hitting trees along the way. You want to stay right in the middle of the bow highway. And to be clear later on when you're more advanced, you will move closer to the bridge, you will move closer to the fingerboard, but for now, right in the middle. Okay? So landing your bow on the string, on the bow highway, we change strings by lifting our arm, lifting our elbow and our arm, and lowering our elbow and our arm. And we move our whole arm up and down in order to change strings. So when we're on the A string, our whole arm is fairly close to our body. And when we're on the C string, our whole arm is pretty high. this a chicken wing you can practice it and you can change your strings without making much sound at all good I like to make sure that my bow is parallel to the bridge meaning if you make a line with your bridge and a line with your bow the two lines do not intersect that's parallel and I practice this by doing an exercise I call ear and Y meaning I move my bow so I touch my ear and then I move my bow so I make a Y. You can see that I'm doing this by pushing the frog forward and pulling the frog back and making sure that my whole arm moves and my elbow is going back and forward. And then using a mirror, I can find parallel once I've done the extreme of ear and Y and now parallel. Good. You can also practice landing your bow gently on the string like a helicopter lands. You don't want a helicopter to land like this. You want it to land gently. So you can practice landing in the middle. You can practice landing on the frog without making any sound at all. And then the hard one is landing at the tip without letting your tip bounce. Lastly, how do we move our arm? Well, what I like to do is I like to start in the middle. Once we land our bow on the bow highway, we've done chicken wings and ear and Y. We now can open our arm as if it's a gate from our elbow. And we just extend our lower arm out, opening like a gate from the elbow, keeping our upper arm, arm still. We can get from the middle of the bow to the tip and back opening and closing our arm. How do I get to the frog? Well, I usually ask students to wait quite a while to go to the frog. And how we do that is we start in the middle and then we keep our lower arm still and we use our shoulder to come to the frog. And if we did it right, our bow will stay parallel and we can smell our wrist. Or even better, smell your frog. Ooh. And from here, we then extend from our frog. We open our shoulder, get to the middle, and then we open our elbow to 
to the tip. And then backwards, close our elbow, close our shoulder, smell your wrist. And you will have to use, especially on viola, you will have to use a fair amount of weight into the string, heavy arm into the string to make a good sound. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoy practicing.